Hello there, I just learned something about uh, using this MS uh, Microsoft Movie Maker and uh, I just realized you can record directly into this thing which is uh, really cool. So you can add segments to your YouTubes and then add your slides or whatever you want to do. Um, I think it's a great uh, opportunity, this is my first time using it. And uh, the project I'm thinking about is using Steam to displace water, or it could be oil, but water with maybe a little bit of oil on top just to act as an insulator, and drive it through a turbine uh, into another tank at a higher... And what this sh should do is extract all the energy from the steam and uh, not give you problems with... Um, corrosion and everything normally associated with steam engines. Now this would probably be a relatively low pressure, a low pressure steam operation, which are inherently uh, very low in efficiency. Uh, but I think it's, uh, there's some merit here that's worth looking into and you might want to uh, put your thinking cap on and say, does this make sense? The, um, the source of the electrical power from this would be um, some turbine blades which can be very low temperature because the um, the fluid going through through is relatively low temperature and it um, the, t the uh, blades would have uh, magnets encapsulated in them so they'd spin one way when the water was being pushed through and uh, they would spin the other opposite direction when the water would be pulled through uh, because of the vacuum of the steam as it condenses um, the other thing would be the um, you would have the condensate building up in the main tank. So on the higher tank, you'd have to have an overflow. So as the, as the liquid built up, it would um, be able to come out. And eventually, you'd have to get that water back into the make, uh, makeup tank where you're creating your steam. Um, in any event, I think this is uh, the concept basically is several hundred years old. But uh, at that time, they weren't into um, the super magnets that we have today. They just used it for pumping water. Uh, I would appreciate your thoughts. Joe Dupont at Juno.com. Here we are looking at this uh, unit um, which uses a valve on the top and a timer uh, to pulse the steam into the tank which is going to displace the liquid. This is a um, close-up of the um, power unit that spins both ways and uses coils to pick up the impulse from the uh, turning magnets which are embedded and these turbine blades and note that the water will be going both ways it'll, it'll surge down and it'll surge up um, that's the nature of this beast um, the, the steam um, is generated by solar it could be generated by um, wood whatever uh, hopefully something that's um, plentiful and um, easy to get a hold of and it pushes uh, that this column of water, as you'll see, um, uh, pushing it through the turbine up to the higher tank. Now, the valve is only on for a certain amount of time and then shuts off, and the steam that's introduced will be pushing the uh, water down uh, from that one tank and up to the tank on, on the right. Um, this is a close-up of that... Um, set up and um, it's very simple there's an opening on top of the um, higher tank so that we're not building up um, any pressure actually um, 
one could actually pressurize that tank and have it rebound uh, down. I mean, that's another another possibility. You might have to worry about losing some of that pressure, but it's an interesting thought. I hadn't I hadn't thought of it uh, before. Eventually, the water will be uh, pushed all the way out of the tank, leaving a little bit there, with, which would probably either have a, a cylinder of um, insulative foam on top or some oil or a combination of both to minimize the amount of heat that we're going to lose, um, lose um, to the fluid that's being pushed back and forth. Eventually, that, that fluid will gain in temperature and therefore... The amount of heat loss will get less and less, but then so might the efficiency of this unit. I don't know. Um, I just know that um, using regular mechanical pistons and worrying about friction and worrying about um, corrosion and lubrication uh, seems to me um, something that you really don't have to worry about. And if you can make something very basic, uh, maybe there's some advantages in that.